up in the, uh, the, the keel area and um, about uh, two three days ago we suffered a keel ram failure and uh, gradually the second ram has been losing pressure um, until today where it finally let go currently got a keel um, that was free swinging inside the boat uh, very dangerous situation um, managed to so far stabilize the situation by putting a lashing around each side of the ram um, uh, I don't know what to do next really I, I think uh, I've got to somehow secure the, the rams themselves the keel still got quite a bit of violent movement which is shaking the boat around shaking the rig around um, shaking the bulb around um, I, I still think there's a very good chance that we could lose the keel um, I'm kind of running out of ideas about how to stop it but just have to keep persevering you can see the lashings that I've put on You can see the keel still moving around quite a bit. This could be too difficult to solve this one. I, I really, it's got my beat at the moment. You never know. We'll find a solution. I hope. Move, move. pictures I've just been showing you there are in the keel bay um, you can see the lashing that I had to make both across the rounds um, and aft putting the keel back um, both these things have restricted the keel movement at the moment I'm happy to say fingers crossed um, it seems to be relatively stable at the moment uh, that noise you can hear is the keel pin wearing on the uh, keel bearing uh, where the front washer and the self-aligning uh, filling has all but disappeared and that sound is the keel pin grinding against the bearing now you know we've got two and a half thousand miles left to sail like this um, which is obviously quite nerve-wracking um, all I can do is 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 relash um, and tighten the lashings and, and try and keep the pressure off that pin in any way I can. Um, it's going to be a, a difficult two weeks to the finish, but you know whatever happens, if I have to hand steer over every wave, if I have to come down here and relash this keel three times a day, I'm going to finish this race. <coughs> Finding it very difficult to sleep. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear that gut wrenching sound in the background, um, but that's the that's the keel, uh, the front bearing of the keel wearing on the on the, on the main pin, and um, we're we're in 25 knots of breeze. It's, we're only a thousand miles now from the finish, and uh, it's just such hard, not so hard to get used to this noise. It's it's so so loud and so deafening, and sounds so bad that 
you know, you just, you're just not sure whether it's going to last, you know, the next couple of hours, let alone the next four or five days. Um, you know, I've lived with this now for four and a half thousand miles, so as you can imagine, you know, I'm kind of, I feel like I've got used to it, but uh, uh, tonight is particularly bad. Um, I'm very tired, I just need to uh, just get my head down and, and get some sleep, but it's very difficult to sleep. Um, I'm hoping in the next, uh, next sort of 36 hours I'll move closer to this high pressure and, and the winds will be lighter. And, but I thought I'd share with you what um, for the last 4,000 miles of sailing I've been like and uh, it's pretty deafening and, and pretty stressful.